Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here doing a random collective love reading. This reading is um, for the collective so it may not resonate with all of you. Okay just take what does resonate and leave the rest. Don't try to force anything. And thank you so much everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so much. For all of your support. I truly do mean that. I really do. I love you guys. I love the soul tribe. Thank you. All right, divine, what do you have for the collective? Okay. I feel like, um, honestly, I'm feeling a couple of things. I'm feeling like there's a contract and it's coming to an end. Okay. Um, the end of a cycle kind of feeling here that I'm getting. I feel like also um, somebody here really wants to work on things with you. It's like they now they want to collaborate, right? But they're brokenhearted because it's coming to an end. Yeah. And I feel like you're the one that they want here, collective. Empress energy, right? Um, yeah, they, this person waited. They sat on this for far too long. Now they're carrying, they're going to have to pick up these burdens and carrying them, carrying them alone. Um, yeah, you are every queen in the deck. This person would have to find four queens to equal one of you. Um, I feel like you've put in, a, you've put in your effort. This person hasn't yet. Okay, they've got all these burdens that they need to clear up here. They've got all of these things that they need to drop. I, I really feel like you're independent. You're dropping this because this person was a player. They had you all stuck and trapped in your head. And the divine has shown you all the truth that you need to know. Also, I'm feeling like this person's about to learn their lesson here. They're about to get their karma for how they treated you. Especially when you've shown nothing but perseverance. This person treated you like an option. I feel like they were chasing clout, chasing whoever had the most to bring to the table, right? Material things. Now that all the smoke is cleared out, this person can see that you're the most abundant person that they could have possibly found. And it would take four queens to equal one of you. Now they want this soulmate connection back, okay? Now they want to come back in after this. But this is justice here for your person for being a fool. The door is closing. Judgment is being passed on the situation for how they treated you. Okay, and I feel like now they're stalking you. Okay, they're stalking immature energy. Um, yeah, they they need to sit down and learn their lesson. This I'm usually I you know I'm probably the only reader out here who sees this. This is a card of change. This is a card of fortune. You can see on this card who's on top of the wheel, which would be you, Empress Energy, very independent, extremely abundant. You could be a possible business owner, boss, entrepreneur, building your own empire all by yourself. Okay, learning the, learning the attributes of all the queens in the deck here. That takes a lot of effort, and it's put you on top of the wheel. Okay, now this wheel, I feel like your person has had this stuck for themselves on delay, but they, they, you know, you may have been stuck in your mind for a while, collective, but when you worked on yourself and you followed the, the leadership of the divine, you got yourself unstuck. You don't need anybody in this, in this position that you have. You're living a comfortable life. You've leveled up. You're high vibing. You don't need anybody. Okay, um, so the wheel was never really on delay for you, just this connection and your person. And now your person that, you know, they, they see that they have been a fool. They know all of the things that they did to you and possibly other people. And they needed to be sat down and learned a lesson. Now this door, and I'm probably the only one who sees this card this way, this door is closing shut. It's slamming shut on this person. You know, they had ample time here, too, with the Wheel of Fortune. They had a lot of time. The universe here gave them plenty of time to make things right. And they did it. And now they're going to have to carry these burdens on their own. You no longer need anyone 
in this energy, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really seeing like this is going to create quite the change. There's going to be an energetic shift here, a huge one. And I feel like, you know, whether you know it or not, you've gotten your vindication because this person through, um, through watching you and studying you, they can see. Uh, they thought that you weren't worthy. They tried to cover you up with a sheet. Maybe not look at this again. Stick you out here with everybody else, but you're not like everybody else. You're intuitive. You're spiritual. You get messages from the divine. You're the most loving queen in the deck. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're the most loving queen in the deck. And you know what? This, this cup here, um, that's the most ornate cup in the whole entire deck. It's even more decorative than the Ace of Cups, which is the Holy Grail cup of love. This, this cup here doesn't just have love in it. it it's got everything that you feel in your soul, your faith, your, your intuition, your discernment, okay? And I feel like you know how much that cup is worth. You know how much whatever is inside is worth all, more than all the money in the world. But this person, they were only chasing bling. They were only chasing after who would bring them the most. They, they, they didn't see the value of that love. And, but now here's your vindication, right? They thought that you weren't worthy. They thought that you didn't have enough. They maybe um, thought you would always be struggling. It took a lot to get to the Empress throne. They didn't see your potential. They didn't see your value, really, in the love that you had to offer this person. I feel like when you guys met, all you had to give them was love. And I feel like they didn't see the worth of it back then, but now they do. And on top of that, you've become the empress. That's your vindication. They can see who you are and what you're freaking made of now. You know? It's not just sugar and spice and everything nice. You're power. You are power. And um, yeah, they had no idea. But this is, you know, now they're under judgment. They had plenty of time to come forward. They acted a fool with you. They did. They had risky behavior with this connection. Um, they did impulsive things. They came in. They used you. They schmoozed you. You were good enough to use, but you weren't good enough to hold on to. That's what the divine is saying. You have to, what about that? What about that? You were good enough to play games with, but they didn't think that you had enough, really. They may have kept you stuck in your mind for a little bit, wondering what the heck was going on, because you knew your worth. They didn't. So you were like, how, but I'm going to be an empress, but I have the best love, you know, but I love you, and that's worth everything. They didn't see that. And now I feel like they're, they're going to get their karmic justice here. This person is being tried by the divine, okay? Because they challenged. They challenged the divine. They knew they had to come in and make this right. They knew what they did to you was wrong. They knew it. This is knowing. Faith, you know, stick in your face in all of the dookie <laughs> right stick in your face and in, in their own ish and having to carry all of it themselves this person's very burdened they could also be having some financial trouble trouble at work maybe even having to work a couple of jobs that they hate just to make ends meet because you know what that was their first dose of karma it hit them where it counted for this person. They only wanted the most abundant person they could find, material-wise. So you know what? The divine is hitting, they already gave them their karma. It, it hit their pocketbook. It hit their bank account. But now, I mean, they're learning a deeper lesson here. The lessons go deeper. They need to learn a lesson of how they treated an, a true empress. 
They didn't see that you were the empress from the inside out. They didn't see that um, your cup of love and spirituality and faith and everything in your soul was worth anything. They didn't see that. They're having, they're being forced to look at that now. Okay. Yeah, all the betrayal, the backstabbing, but, and the divine is calling them out here. But what about all the things you said about, about the collective behind their back? What about trying to ruin their reputation? What about all the times you laughed at them? Look at this person's laughing at your pain. What about that? Because they thought that they could go and do whatever they wanted to whoever they wanted. You know, they're being questioned, they're being judged and tried by the divine right now. And this person knows they've got to come in and make it right. They know they need to talk. I saw the, um, yeah, because you were an earth angel. They know they need to talk to you and try to make this right. They should have done this a long time ago. This person has gotten signs, synchronicities, messages from the divine. They're intuitive too. They just chose to ignore it. That was challenging the divine and what they were supposed to do. They chose to ignore it. So now... They're getting tried and judged for how they treated you and others. And they're about to get their karma. And you over here, you're an earth angel energy, light worker energy, um, divine feminine, right? Empress, queen of cups, very loving, very spiritual. I feel like you guys are now mixing up a new soulmate connection because you know what? This person... They couldn't get it together. They didn't give you anything. Everything, that, wherever you are in life, you got you acquired that all on your own with the messages from the divine. This was a past life soulmate connection that was supposed to come together. They were supposed to do the right thing. And I feel like they took advantage of you here. They may have seen you as naive because you believed in this person. You trusted them. You loved them. You could have known this person for a long, long time. You could even have children with them. But they were hiding a lot from you underneath this hoodie. You were honest with them. You would have never hurt them with mittens on. You know, but I feel like this. they had other options. And they didn't think you were enough, but you were... They thought you were naive enough to come and play and use. I feel like what they did, they did on purpose. They knew what they were doing the whole time. And they laughed about it. And so the divine is calling them out. The divine has seen enough. They've had enough time. They've, the divine has been ignored enough. They're not, they're not dealing with it anymore. Now you're all this person can think about. You're all that they can think about, and they're thinking back, thinking, I should have never treated you the wrong way. I should have never used you. I should have never taken advantage of your kindness. I should have seen the value in your love. They had a choice. And it's like they, they did everything backwards. And at the time, they didn't care. Now, year, possibly years later, and a lot of stress on this person, and, you know, getting their karma trickling in little by little, right? Now they're having to look back on that person from their past. Now they can't shake this connection. Now they see that you're actually the empress, spiritual, and an earth angel. And they're having to take a look at this now. That's your vindication. That's your vindication. The divine is showing them this. Invested in the wrong things, you know. I saw the seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. They invested in the wrong things. They invested their time, energy um, into finding the most the person who had the most money or material items or whatever, they, they misjudged you, they used you, 
and they threw you away and tried to cover you up thinking that you didn't have enough and you're the empress they're not going to find another you and you're uh, this is why they did this right on the bottom of the deck strength card during all of this everything that this person put you through and probably others okay it's all brought you to the empress throne your struggles the effort you've put into yourself um, everything through it all you remain spiritual probably even stronger now than you ever were before um, loving nurturing kind tender you didn't let that ruin your heart and you built yourself up and you did it all with integrity I feel like you're the only one in this situation who had integrity you were the only one who was strong enough to work on you this person may have seen your kindness and everything um, as a weakness but you were the one who was strong you have total vindication here total vindication all because this person is watching they're seeing you and they're seeing the kind of person that they left behind okay what is all of this they're seeing how strong you were they thought you were weak no mm -mm. you have integrity and they didn't yeah this person didn't think that you had enough they were only interested in money material gain material wealth they turned their nose up at you like they were stuck up thinking they were better than they walked away from a blessing in love a blessing in love a possible twin flame soulmate connection here doesn't have to be though they just they turned their nose up at you they walked away from you like they did with so many other options that they didn't think were enough they walked away from a blessing from God and now they're praying because this person knows I feel like they know they're about to get their karma for this they know they're about to get their karma for this um, let's see what they have to say to you okay wow that was very powerful you have you've been vindicated they, they thought that you were nothing you're the Empress they thought that um, they could find other people that were better than you they've got to find four queens to equal one of you um you know they laughed at uh they could have called you crazy they could have they i feel like this they told lies um ruined your reputation tried to tried to get in the way of other um opportunities that were coming your way i feel like they trashed your name they laughed at you you were like a mockery and you know what you ended up being an earth angel they're being shown all of this and they're being called out you have vindication here they thought that your kindness was a weakness they thought you were weak because you had faith in them because you believed in them because you trusted them but you ended up being the strongest one it was them who's weak you have total vindication here collective and they're getting their karma for everything that they've done they're having to sit and look at everything that they've done to you and carry these burdens I have awakened to our connection I know we have a timeless bond between us I'm telling you you're being vindicated I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve I love you but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me yeah they're worried about that now that's part of the vindication okay that's part of it where they had you stuck in your head at one point now they're worried and afraid now they're stuck in their head you speak to me through music so this person is starting to be aware of the messages that they're getting and this connection I feel like a lot of you don't even want this person back I feel like you're standing in your boundaries against this person because you know that they misjudged you and uh, and that's an understatement 
they really treated you like you were nothing. When they when they deemed that you weren't worthy, you didn't even get any communication from this person. They just turned their back and walked away. Thinking that, oh, if they were better than you, they could do that to somebody. Now their head is turned, man. They're paying their their total focus is on you. And um and they're feeling too that their their karma's coming. They're under judgment. They're about to get their sentencing. I'm telling you. I want you to see the real me now. I've been hiding from our love for too long. I'll be honest with you. Besides them turning their nose up at a blessing from the divine, I'm not seeing any love from this person. All I've seen in this situation is how poorly they've treated you. And that they're having to sit and think about that. I want to be more than friends. I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. I told you, this is all that they needed to do. This one last card was all that was required of this person truly. And they had all of this time to come in and just speak the words, I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. That's all that this person needed to do. And they didn't. It would have cost them nothing. It would have taken that much time. And they refused to do it because you know what? They thought they were better than everybody else. So now they're getting their karma. Um, yeah. I feel like they do want to talk to you. But right now this person is, honestly, they're trying to wrap their head around this. They're trying to understand this connection, and they're busy getting their karma, and I feel like the divine has them right now. And you, you can't interrupt a court proceeding. They're in spiritual court right now. And you, I feel like your focus is on you, and I feel like you should keep your boundaries up and continue to focus on you. Um, keep doing your work for the divine. Keep... Uh, diving more into your spirituality but this person is busy they're being tried in spiritual court right now so you know i don't think they're able to come through right now but this is all that they wanted to say and this is the only thing they had to say it and it would have been so easy but uh no they didn't do it Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this energy here. Um, I need to clear this energy out because honestly, I mean, it's great because you're getting your vindication. But this person, you know, I, I don't like it when people think that they're better than somebody else. It, it triggers me. I don't like that energy. So anyway, um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, right, if you haven't already and you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.